Welcome back to the School of Calisthenics. Before we get into what is definitely going to be an exciting lesson for today, just make sure you click subscribe below. And we're going to look today at how to join Cirque du Soleil. Now, it's not like an all-encompassing guide. It's, it's, it's literally how you might get in the, the door. I mean, we can we, we, do one trick. Yeah, we're not in the Cirque du Soleil, so we haven't no. gone to the join bit. But and if we were in it, our act would probably take about 10 <laughs> seconds and then it'd be time for the next one. But it is going to be this dragon flag or partnered dragon flag. It is pretty cool. If you can do a dragon flag, it isn't that hard. But it's one of those things that with your mate, you can turn a few heads. In a crowd. And it won't cost them 90 quid to go and see it. <laughs> Let's get into it. Step one of joining the Cirque du Soleil or Basically, uh, step one of the partner dragon flag is just looking at the dragon flag itself, but just changing the hand position slightly because most of the time people do a dragon flag, they're doing it on a bench with the hands behind them, pulling down against the bench. Whereas actually in this partnered one, Tim is going to be pulling on my arm. So he's going to use the bench to rep, sorry, the bar, this vertical bar. So find a vertical pole, you're lying on the floor. His back is, the top of his back is going to be on the floor, which eventually will be resting on the knees. But the important thing is that his hands are up high here rather than behind his head pulling on a bench. So then he goes up into his... One thing I'd also do, guys, is put hands on top of each other on this one because that's what the grip's going to be like on your partner. Yeah, so hands on top of each other, about a foot up uh, from the floor. Then he's going to go up into his dragon flag position. He comes down and he's looking at making sure he's got that bum on, abs nice and tight, keeping in that straight line position, working to as low a position as he feels comfortable with that hand position pulling hard on there. That's step one. Okay, step two brings your partner in and also we're gonna use the bench just to make it a little bit easier bridging gap between doing it together, but you're starting to start to get to work on pulling um, against other than the partner actually using the arm. So we're gonna set the bench up Tim's going to go down and he's going to do, imagine he's doing his dragon flag on the bench, but rather than holding on the bench here, I'm going to come down in a half, sort of, well, probably quarter squat position, and I'm going to offer him my arm there to be able to pull against. Big thing I've got to make sure I'm doing is I'm pulling and keeping this in tight. It's a nice one for the bicep, so you can see that. And then as he lowers down, I pull my weight backwards. As more Tim goes that way, I've got to uh, do the opposite. You see me squatting down and backwards there until he holds. One thing I don't want to do is I don't want to open, let that bicep open up and, and lengthen out. The more I go that way for him, he's just going to topple down backwards. It gets a little bit perilous. <laughs> yeah. It's quite, quite so nervy for me. Stay in nice and tight. As he lowers down, you're working your way backwards. Step three then is using your partner in the full thing where rather than in step two where he was lying on the bench, I'm going to do exactly the same thing, but it's back top of his back is going to be on the knees there and then it's just working together to provide a counterbalance for your partner so as he's lowering down i'm helping provide that counterbalance by shifting my body weight back if i want to get a little bit juicier it's going to try and straighten out and flatten myself alongside the horizontal position he's in all the time remembering don't let him go there you've got to stay strong in that bicep position yeah. so there's a little bit you guys could communicate when you're in that top yeah. range for me particularly when i get up and feel stable on my shoulders what i need jacko to be able to do is actually give me that strength to be able to go with so just sort of like right set and ready and then you can start to lower down if it goes a little bit wrong just allow yourself to fall down and you'll land on on the top of each other it looks a bit weird people will laugh at you but sometimes you gotta go to these dark places <laughs> so let's give it a go so he's gonna He's going to go into start position, he's going to be in a squat. I'm offering up the top of my, um, my knees or thighs there. He comes over the top with that hand, rests his top of his back on there, and then he's going to jump up. And to start with, he's getting in this position, can you balance together? And then now, as he goes that way, I'm starting to come back until we haven't done this in a while. So there's no guarantees that you can join the Cirque du Soleil, even if you can complete this partner dragon flag, because we haven't yet got the, uh, got the call yet, but there's hope and there's still tomorrow. Yeah, if someone out there is watching from the Cirque du Soleil, we are available for a world tour and Jacko is more than comfortable in a full Lycra suit, uh, alarmingly so. <laughs> anyway, if you haven't yet, click subscribe, 
over there if you haven't got the free beginner's guide down by Timbo and then if you're any more of our how-to videos check over there and we will see you next time. Class dismissed.